A common video tutorial I do here on the channel is showing you how to boot into and out of a special boot mode on Android called recovery mode. For most of us, when our devices are put into recovery mode, it's because it's an intended action, meaning we are taking steps to make sure the device is put into this special boot mode. The thing is, sometimes this happens by accident. Whether a button combination is pressed and held during a reboot, or the phone just rebooted on its own. Whatever that reason, sometimes people see their Android smartphone or tablet boot into recovery mode, and they need to use the, their hardware buttons to navigate through the menus and reboot back into the Android operating system itself. So what happens if the device in question does not have a working power button? So if you've ever used the device in the stock Android recovery mode, then you likely know the touchscreen does not respond to taps. Instead, we have to use the hardware buttons to navigate through the menu and confirm your actions. And if your hardware buttons are broken, then you're going to have issues. But thankfully, there's still a way to boot out of Android's recovery mode, even if your power button is broken. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in today's video. But before, before we can begin anything, we first need to have some things set up ahead of time. So in order for our PC to make a connection to our smartphone or tablet, we need to have the OEM's ADB USB drivers installed. And the location of this driver will depend on who makes your phone. For example, if you have a Samsung device, then you should look for the Samsung USB drivers for Android. If you have a Google Pixel smartphone, then be sure to have Google's USB drivers installed on your PC. Now with that done, we also need to have ADB and Fastboot tools set up on our PC. I have done a couple of guides on this in the past, and I'll be linking to my latest video in the video description below. So if you ever find that your smartphone has booted into this screen, this is the Android stock recovery splash screen, or it looks like this screen, then I can show you how to reboot out of Android recovery and back into Android, even though you have a broken power button. No matter which screen you are at, whether it's the splash screen or the menu here, we're just going to then connect our device to the PC with a USB cable. And then we're going to open up either a command prompt, a Windows PowerShell, or a terminal window that's in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. So here we have a command prompt that I've been opened from our ADB and Fastboot Tools desktop shortcut. And if you just want to make sure that you have a successful connection, meaning if you want to confirm that you have installed the proper ADB USB devices or USB drivers, then we can type out the command ADB space devices. And as long as we see a device here and it is recognized the device is in recovery, then we have done everything properly. So from here, we can reboot out of recovery mode with a broken power button by simply typing out the command ADB space reboot and press enter. We're immediately gonna see our phone restart and we should not get any error messages right here either. Now when we see our smartphone or tablet reboot, it's going to go through the typical boot animation sequence. So we're going to see our boot splash screen, our boot animation, before booting into the actual Android operating system itself. So you can see even though we did not use the power button, 
we were able to boot out of recovery mode and back into Android by using the ADB reboot command. 